Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to create this animated circular navigation menu using morph transition in PowerPoint. As you can see, the pink color circle shape perfectly moves along the circumference of the big circle and I will tell all the tricks to achieve it. Please watch this video completely to understand all the important steps and get ready to amaze your friends and colleagues. So let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and then move the vertical guide 3 units towards left. The intersecting point between these guides will be our design place or position. Next right click on this slide, choose format background and then apply the solid dark grey color. Before we start our design, let's duplicate the first slide 7 more times to make it a total of 8 slides and that's the prerequisite for morph transition. If anybody is interested to learn more about morph transition, feel free to check out the video in i button on the top right corner. Now select the first slide, go to insert tab, shapes, select the oil shape and then draw a circle shape holding down ctrl and shift keys. Remove its outline and change its fill color to white. Next duplicate this circle shape using Ctrl plus D and change its fill color just for the sake of visibility. Reduce its size by dragging the corner points holding down Ctrl and Shift keys and place it at the middle of big circle shape. Now select both the circle shapes and then subtract them. Next go to insert tab, select the shapes and then draw a vertical reference line along the vertical guide as shown. Change its outline color to blue and also increase its weight. Now duplicate this reference line. Rotate it by 90 degrees and align it along the horizontal guide. Now again duplicate this line. This time rotate it by 45 degrees. And align it centrally to slide. Duplicate this line for the last time. Flip it horizontally and place it centrally to slide. So these will be our 8 section in a circular pattern. Next go to insert tab. Select shapes and then choose a oval shape. Draw a reference circle shape holding down Ctrl and Shift keys and make it no fill. Also change its outline color and weight. All the intersecting points between reference lines and reference circle will be the positions for placing our PNG icons. Next go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape holding down Shift key. Match its outline with the background color. Increase its weight. And also change its fill color with bright pink color. Drag and align this circle along the circumference of the big circle shape as shown. Now comes the important phase. We need to make this circle rotate along the circumference of the big circle. For that, let's go to insert tab and then draw a rectangle shape. Make sure the height of the rectangle matches with the circle diameter. Now bring the small circle to the front and remove the outline from the rectangle shape. Now here is the important trick. Let's group the circle and the rectangle shape together and these two points indicate the center vertical axis of this group and these points must be aligned along the vertical axis of this slide. Since these points are away from the vertical axis towards right, we must select the rectangle shape and push its length towards left so that these center points get aligned along the vertical axis. 
Now if we try to rotate this shape, it rotates through the center of the slide. Finally, let's select the rectangle shape and make it no fill so that it remains hidden but still support the rotation path. Let's copy and paste all the PNG icons onto first slide and we need to do one important task here. We need to rename few elements so that it eases our animation process later. For that, let's open up the selection pane and rename this cross mark PNG icon as close button, plus mark PNG icon as open button, the rotating group of shapes as rotating shape, and finally the big circle shape as back end circle. Next arrange the first PNG icon at the center of the small circle shape and next 7 PNG icons along the reference points as shown. Drag and select the remaining two icons and then change their fill color to white. Since all our design elements are in proper place, it's time to create an initial set of animation with all these shapes and icons. The close and open buttons that we are using here will be used to show and hide all the design elements. So this animation will basically have two stages. In the first stage, user will have an option to click on this open button and here two things must happen. First, all the shapes must appear. Second, this open button must disappear and in turn close button must appear so that user gets an option to close back all the shapes. The second stage will be exactly opposite to first stage. User will have an option to click on close button and again two things must happen. First, all the shapes must disappear. Second, this close button must disappear and in turn open button must appear so that user gets an option to open up all the shapes again. So with that sequence in mind, let's enable the animation pane and start our animation of stage 1. First select the big circle shape and apply zoom animation. At this point, let's hide the open button by applying disappear animation and start it after previous. Next select all the PNG icons along the circle shape. and apply zoom animation. Reduce their duration to 0.25 seconds and start them after previous. Now select the rotating group, apply fade animation and start it after previous. Finally, apply appear animation to close button and start it with previous. Now select all these animation. Go to trigger option. Select the open button and that is the reason we renamed few elements before to identify them easily. Now all these animations will be triggered when open button is clicked. Now in the second stage of our animation, let's select the rotating group. Apply fade out animation. At this point, let's hide the close button by applying disappear animation and start it after previous. Now select all the PNG icons along the circle shape and apply zoom out animation. Reduce the duration to 0.25 seconds and start them after previous. Finally, select the big circle shape and apply zoom out animation and start them after previous. Last but not the least, apply appear animation to open button. And start it after previous. 
Now select all these set of animations. Go to trigger option and this time select the close button. Now let's move this open and close PNG icons at the center of our design and then preview the animation once. Open button will show all the shapes. Close button will hide all the shapes. That's perfect. Now comes the next important phase of setting up the stage for morph transition. First, let's hyperlink each of these 8 PNG icons to 8 slides. For that, let's go to insert tab and then click on action. In this window, select hyperlink to option, then choose slide from the drop down. Select slide 1 from the list and then click on OK. Similarly, select second PNG icon, go to action, select hyperlink to option, choose slide from the drop down, select slide number 2 from the list and then click on OK. Follow the same steps and hyperlink third PNG icon to third slide, fourth PNG icon to fourth slide and so on and so forth. Next select all the elements using Ctrl plus A shortcut key. Let's copy them and paste them into slide number 2. Now it is a bit important here. On the slide number 2, the rotating group must be at the position of second PNG icon and the animations which are used to show all the shapes are also not needed because all the shapes will appear in slide number 1 itself. So let's rotate this group to the position of second PNG icon and align the icons matching the previous pattern. Also, select all these animations and delete them. Since we are in slide number 2, let's add the text fields and finish it off. Arrange the text fields as needed and change their font colors as well. Now again select all the elements using Ctrl plus A shortcut key. Let's copy them and paste them into slide number 3. Rotate this circle group to the position of third PNG icon. Align the icons properly and then change the text fields. I am renaming these text fields just to differentiate their content. Now again select all the elements using Ctrl plus A shortcut key. Let's copy them and paste them into slide number 4. Rotate the circle group, align the icons properly and then change the text fields. Follow the same steps to slide number 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now we need to delete all the reference lines from all the slides. Let's go to slide number 1. Choose the selection pane, then select 4 reference lines and a circle outline and then delete them. Similarly, go to each slide, select all reference lines under selection pane and then delete them.
Last but not the least, delete this slide number 9 as well as it is no more needed. Now this is the magic moment. Select all the 8 slides, go to transition and then apply morph transition. Also reduce its duration to 1 second to make it more realistic. All set. So here is the final preview. Open and close button works correctly and the rotating shape will move to the position of PNG icon which is clicked and that too in a circular pattern. Hope you all liked it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Stay tuned for the next tutorial.